the, the fact that this community is able to have so much going on in a period of our history when the economy is a little bit down, I think, is just an astounding uh, positive statement about our community. Now, let me overlay on all of that one of the factors that you surely know about, and that is there is a huge debate going on, probably as I speak, in the legislature about looking for ways to reduce the amount of taxation on commercial property. Now, I'll be the first to say that the property tax rate in Des Moines is high. It's high if you simply look at the optics and compare our tax rate to other cities, particularly in the metro area. I wish the tax rate was lower. The proposals in the legislature would reduce the value of commercial property by 40%. Now, it would happen over a period of time, and there are a lot of different variations on that proposal. But the fact is, if you take that 40% reduction and you do simple math and you ask the question, well, what would that mean to us financially? It is a loss of $28 million per year in, in ongoing revenues. Here's the bottom line for me. What we really need to look at in Des Moines is a more diversified revenue base. As Mr. Clark pointed out in the presentation today, we've got challenges for the city from the standpoint of funding, making sure that the city services are adequately funded. Uh, throughout the area. There's a lot of growth going on throughout our city in a time when, you know, it's not easy to have growth. So we should be very proud of what we have going here. We're satisfied that we've, uh, the last few years have been great for our city, but we can't just stand and admire it. We need to continue to challenge ourselves to go forward and uh, continue with the good work that's been happening. So.